Well, hey, good afternoon. It's the Big Knacker here, and we have got ourselves a nice thing happening today. And it looks like we have, can, first of all, uh, can you hear me? I hope so you can hear me. Anyways, we're just going to go through this life sale, this knife sale. Um, hopefully we'll get some more people on live to uh, buy. We're going to have a few other things to, to uh, do, I guess. The first three people who buy knives are going to get themselves some uh, a Zippo lighter to go along with the order. So the first three guys, they're actually uh, Zippo lighters. They're brand spanking new, and we'll get those happening for you. Uh, now, the other thing here is I've got some kind of $10 items that are just more for kind of just to kind of, I thought maybe, hey, I might try to get rid of them. Uh, these here, just, I know it doesn't make sense to have these and just ship them out just by themselves. So if you want to buy something else, I've got a couple of really, you know, a couple of knife, just box openers here. Uh, one's a benchmark. I think it was about $50 or $17. This one here was a um, actually kind of expensive one. I think this one here was about $35 or 40 bucks. And then, of course, we've got a CKRT Spork. So if somebody wants to throw one of those in for $10, uh, we could do that too as well. But um, now the, everything here is going to be plus shipping. So the plus shipping... Uh, the U.S. or Canada, and just whoever wants to buy it. Hey, hey, all right, hey guys. Uh, yeah, who uh, can you can you hear me all right here? I just want to make sure my mic was hooked up. I didn't get a chance to do a, a mic check, so um, just wanted to say or <laughs> loud and clear, perfect. Thanks. All right, so. Uh, we're just going to kind of go through this or run through this. Now, the first guy, if you want it, just say, yes, I want it in the, in the stream and send me an email at big uh, at gmail.com. Just as before, uh, we will take, uh, you know, uh, EFT preferably, but there's also, uh, friends and family PayPal. And on, I also have some brand new knives from one of my uh, customers or one of my uh, friends who owns a knife shop. Uh, and we can do credit cards on those ones too. So I will uh, let you guys know which ones are those. So I apologize for this kind of wonky angle. I'm trying to use my webcam that I bought to do some Zoom interviews. So let's uh, let's check out. So did you guys? So the first thing we've got is we have got a a Spyderco uh, stainless steel Delica uh, with the combo edge. Uh, it's, it was just basically, I, I bought this just to have kind of more of a size thing. It's, Hey, it's, it's a user for sure. Uh, you can see it's got some, some, uh, use on the, the stainless steel scales. I know it's also got the tip here. needs a little bit, uh, sharpening up, but you know, it is very, very sharp. Uh, the other side, of course, it's got the, um, clip on the other side. So it is tip up, tip down, left, right, carry, uh, it's very, very solid, and I'm going to do with that one, I will say probably 70 bucks. So we'll just, uh, if somebody wants that one, they can take that one. We'll put that away. And we will grab the next one. I have a, a piece of paper with everything written down on it. All right. Here we have got a, a Benchmade this time. A Benchmade Mini Griptilian. And it comes with the case. It actually is uh, bench made here. Wish it was right side, not mirrored. It is actually quite a nice uh, bench made uh, mini grip with the combo edge. Uh, it has, uh, you know, a clip, a little bit of wear along the clip. But other than that, you know, it's, it's nice action. Uh, let's see. She's a tiny bit... Uh, off she's a tiny bit to the clip side bias just a smidge though but nothing that uh you know probably a little twist of the pivot can't turn up 154 cm steel in this and i think i have that there that's going to be 75 bucks though these are all usd too as well uh, or not sorry not usd canadian uh so you know you're going to be saving yourself some money if you're from the states uh we can i can ship that off to you just like we did last time i know i sold some of the ones into the states and so this is actually canadian 
Uh, I know that this is 143 bucks or 144 dollars at uh, uh, House of Knives, I think, and also Warriors of Wonder. So that's going to be half price, 75 bucks for a really, really nice little mini grip uh, coming with the full box and everything else. Now, I wish I could have a little more. Now, I was going to do this originally tomorrow but i just decided to take care of it today because i ended up having a helping out uh, alberta hardware and variety they're at the gun show tomorrow so <laughs> i've got tickets to the gun show and so they're gonna be setting up all their spiderco booth and i'm gonna run their spiderco booth and have a, a really really good time doing it all right so what else we've got all right we have got this this happens to be a spider spider co hello another bench made this one happens to be a bench made bailout uh, with a tanto uh 3v steel on this um this is actually really really excellent uh action on this i'm really really let's see if i can maybe get that up just a smidge might have fallen uh, there we go that might be a little bit better so 3v tanto blade with the combo edge too as well it's actually quite sharp uh it's got uh tip up uh, carry left and right uh, grivery scales uh 3v blade and it looks like you know it looks like it's fairly new there's no real damage to it or real scrapes or anything like that tiny bit of wear just on the pocket clip all those pocket clips wear that way uh they seem to be there's no issues with that uh, that there doesn't come with the box just as it is. Uh, this is, I think these are going in the store right now for about 235 Canadian or so. Um, for me, I think I'll do 135 for that. So basically a hundred off a brand new one, um, for this, uh, Benchmade bailout. All right. So let's put that aside. Oh, what do we got here? So let's check my email, make sure I don't have anything coming in. All right. Okay, so what's next? Okay, we have got a Kaiser coming up next. I gotta find it. Oh, here we go. I didn't know whether to put these things in the box or not. This happens to be a really, really excellent knife. This happens to be a Kaiser T1. Let's get that box off the side here. Now, the Kaiser T1, I mean, it's just a really, really super clean example. Let me get my cloth here and just kind of clean this off a little bit. It's, I'm dropping stuff all over the place. Yeah, this, this Kaiser has got, I don't think it's got any, it's got really no damage. I mean, a little bit, it is used. Uh, it's, you know, it's carried by me, but it's not carried like a whole lot. You know, it's titanium, both sides, titanium, um, frame lock, uh, reuse integral lock with the, the, the steel insert, as well as a beautiful S35 VN steel. Um, the action on this thing is outstanding. I was really, really blown away by this. This, oh, there we go. Oh, Rudastic's on there. He calls me Grunkle, by the way. That's my that's one of my nicknames here is, is Grunkle. But this Kaiser T1, the action on this is absolutely astounding. I don't know why I'm selling this, actually. Probably because, you know, I got so much I, I don't carry. Um, this Kaiser T1, I think these were about 230 new. Uh, 110 bucks uh, for this. Basically, that's kind of what I paid for it. Uh, so I just thought, you know what, I'll let somebody else enjoy it. They're going to get themselves a hell of a knife for 110 bucks. All right. So beautiful, beautiful knife. So I'll put that aside here. I'm going to be taking pictures of all this stuff and throwing it up online too. But you guys all get the chance at it first. All right. So the next one we have is another Kaiser. And this one here uh, is a... Man, these Kaiser boxes drive me crazy. So this has got all the documentation. It also comes with a nice Kaiser uh, blanket to put your uh, knife to bed at night. Uh, and that's one thing I say. Kaiser really, really uh, 
does a good job with their uh, packaging. That's for sure. I'm not sure if anybody recognizes this beast. This one happens to be a John Gray GPB one, which is a real, just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. I mean, in this here, if you have a look at this giant pivot, that seems to be a John Gray trademark. Um, it has got the uh, the stylized titanium clip on it too as well. Now, both sides of this um, Kaiser has have got uh, sculpted. Uh, they've got sculpted scales, so they're 3D uh, machined, so they don't just flat, they've also grounded. I mean, the ergonomics on this knife is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this happens to be modded after the John Gray, I think it's called a Thuck, uh, which basically is a tactical hunting utility knife is what Thuck stands for. And this happens to be just an all-around everyday knife. This thing is a beast. It is a tiny bit on the, the heavy side. And I think it's around six ounces or so, but it has got like the dual thumb studs instead of the stop pin. Um, it's got a big giant Phillips uh, pivot that you can, if you need to tighten or loosen your blade, you can just do it with a dime. So it's not really a Phillips screw. It's more of something you can use for a dime. I'm just kind of getting the light a little bit goofy here. Let me turn this on, see if that makes a... I've got another little light here. You can see that it's got there a little bit more of a light to it. And it is almost, I, I mean, this thing is almost brand new. I mean, there's no real snails on it. It's just a fantastic blade. And I'm going to do 200 for that one. That one seems to be 200 bucks plus shipping. And I think you're getting yourself an absolute uh, monster of a blade. Um, and it is, it does have the big Canucker edge on it too as well. This thing here is, cut time and space sharp it's 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 sticky sticky sharp with s35 vn all right so that one's one to go there for uh 200 so what do we got next all right let's go off to a little wee tiny spider coal so this happens to be a spider co dragonfly 2 uh, with FRN handles. Um, it happens to also be ZDP 189. Let's get that wiped down a little bit because it's, it's, this is really quite perfect. Um, FRN handles in that British racing green. Of course, it's got the leaf shaped blade. It is a fully flat ground. Now, this one here is a little bit custom. You can see that it's got a mirror polished edge, but it also has a little bit of a sharpening trail put in there. And I put that sharpening trail in there because that's the one knock that I have about uh, Spider Co. is the fact that it doesn't have a, um, it doesn't have uh, sharpening trails on them. And you can get yourself into a recurve situation really quick. And for some reason, there's a piece of tape underneath the the the, the clip. Now, and this happens to be one of the clips that is most sought after clip in all of Spider Co. Land is the wire clip. It's an excellent, excellent clip, and it's just a it's a perfect little knife. Um, no scratches on it, no wear and tear. This is basically brand new. And I, and I wanted to get eventually. My plan was to get a um dragonfly a delica an endura and i can't remember what the third a stretch or a stretch two all in zdp 189 with the british racing green and i ended up getting part way there and i just decided you know what i i kind of lost my taste for this frn i mean there's absolutely nothing wrong with it it makes it light as hell it's really strong it's chemical resistant it's a good looking color i just rebelled a little bit because Spyderco has gone so much with these FRN handles and FRN stands for fiberglass reincarnated fiberglass reincarnated noodles. <laughs> no. The fiberglass reinforced nylon is what it stands for. And it's really damn, really damn tough. And for that, we have got that written down dragonfly hundred bucks. I think this is around 140, 150 bucks with the ZDP 189. I know that you can get these at VG 10, um, you can get them in an orange channel with a HAP 40. And I know the, those, um, the better steel, the, the ZDP 189 steel will cut for days and days and days. And this does, even though this is a smaller knife, as you can see, 
based upon the size of my big giant hands, it is a very, very usable blade. And that's a hundred dollars Canadian. And you can see that it is basically, it is basically drop shut. All right. So let's get rid of that one. And that is a hundred bones. All right. We have one here that was just on the channel here not too long ago. And this here is virtually brand new. Happens to be the Leatherman Signal. Um, now, the, this Leatherman Signal, it comes with, I do believe, 18 tools, including an onboard diamond sharpener that can be popped off, as well as a uh, whistle and a um, fire starter, too, as well. A fair CM rod fire starter. It comes with the clip and the nylon pouch. Uh, it has the uh, pounding for the stakes. The... It has the uh, hammer. Uh, it also locks into place too as well, whereas so you don't have to worry about it popping open. Uh, 3 16th box end wrench, as well as a quarter inch for your smaller bits. Uh, it has two outside tools. One happens to be a combo 420HC blade. Um, and the other side is your... Uh, is your saw and the Leatherman saw is a fantastic saw, absolutely uh, usable saw like crazy. Interior tools you've got, of course, your 154 cm removable blades here, replaceable blades here. If you have to uh, replace those, those cutting blades with the hardware cutters, and then you've also got in here a 2D, uh, a 2D uh, screwdriver. That's you've got the flat as well as the 2D Phillips on that side, and then you've got a all with the sewing needle eye as well as a let's see if I can get this up here. It's hard to do this when you're there. We go, of course, you've got your uh, can opener with your wire stripper here, too, as well, and then this happens to be a bottle opener with your carabiner here too as well so that is 180 bucks or so 188 dollars canadian 140 dollars american uh i have got it for 140 dollars. so save yourself 50 bucks right off the bat there'll be no tax on that one uh there'll be a little bit of shipping but you will get yourself a leather bit now i have the clamshell packaging if somebody wants that to go along with the knife, I can maybe put it in a little bit bigger box. I prefer to ship it just like this, save a little bit of money. But if you wanted to pay just a smidge more and have a little bigger box with the clamshell packaging, I can send that too as well. $140 for this virtually brand new Leatherman Signal. Time for a little drink go-go juice. Oh, you know who is uh, back in uh, Knifeland? that I saw the other day on was Randy Johnson. I'm not sure if you guys remember Randy Johnson. He happened to have a knife chat, and I ended up asking him a few questions and BSing with him a little bit over knife chat. If you happen to subscribe to that guy, I've asked him a few times. I want to interview the guy because he's one of the guys who was totally responsible for me to um, get into knives. Uh, I loved watching his channel, and I'd love to sit down and have a chat with the guy. So if you guys know Randy or you're a subscriber or you go to one of his live things, make sure you say, hey, talk to the Big Canucker and let him interview you. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, we've got something that's non-knife related. Happens to be here. This is happens to be a uh, – this was part of my YouTube uh, channel early on, and I didn't use it at all. I used it one time, I think, to go to the mailbox, and that was it. It happens to – so it's brand spanking new. Uh, it's virtually untouched. It's a Sabina Tech wireless uh, microphone that will work with, say, Android uh, uh, iPhones. These are about 180 bucks. I bought this for $170 last year and used it one time. It comes with the uh, charging cable. It comes with a little ear cable as well as a couple of noise reduction tips. One's a foam and one here is called a dead cat. It, so just in case you guys want, any of you guys want to start your own YouTube channel and you need some audio equipment because that is one of the main things. If you are, and here is the unit itself. And it just basically is an excellent sounding little unit. 
no doubt about it. Um, clips right on there. And then, of course, there's your microphone right on top there. Um, so if you want to start yourself a YouTube channel, one of the things they say is sound is the most important thing. Uh, you can have a little bit of a crappy uh, viewing, but if the sound is really noisy and, and terrible, um, then it is, um, you, people will jump off right away. So if you want this, this here is 120 bucks. And so save yourself 50 bucks from there just because I bought it first <laughs> and pay no tax on it too. All right. And, uh, yes, that is, uh, Randy Johnson. That is the right spelling. Um, really, really nice guy. He, he ended up, I had to say probably about seven, eight years ago. You know, longer than that, uh, maybe 10 years ago, 10, 11 years ago, uh, I was starting to get into knives because of my job. And I just looked up on YouTube and he is one of the first channels that I watched. And he was such a, an entertaining, I mean, the guy's not crazy electric. I mean, he's a normal dude, but he's, I loved hearing what he said. He was knowledgeable and he showed me how to sharpen knives. And I appreciated that so much. I would just love to talk to the guy. So. All right, so what do we got next? All right, here we have a custom knife right here. This one here happens to be a custom Boker Vox designed F3. Now, this one is an absolute beast of a knife. Uh, it, you've got yourself a uh, S35VN blade, but it's about three, almost three and a half inches. It is thick as hell. I got to say that that is just about a quarter of an inch thick of S35 VN. It is acid stone washed the uh, blade on it, as well as the uh, one side scale here is um, Marcarta. I dyed it. Uh, I also did a little bit of the stone washing here on the blade. And on this side, you got yourself a titanium scale or titanium uh, with a cup, a couple of aftermarket uh, brass screws in the clip. Now, this clip and this titanium has all been stonewashed too as well. So there is not a Boker F3 out there in the land like this, and they are about $230 new or so. Um, and if you want yourself a work knife that's going to look good and it's going to cut like a demon, this is going to be it. This S35 VN blade here uh, with your titanium, $150 bucks for this. Uh I think that's a, a steal uh, for such a huge stout knife. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I just don't carry it very often, and I don't know why. I mean, I really like the spider hole in it. it you know, it's it's an oval rather more than a than a hole. I love the design. I love the color. Of course, I had to tie myself on a uh, a clip, uh, as you can see. Uh, my uh, patented leather lanyard that I like to tie, and I who 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 taught me how to cut. Uh, how to tie that lanyard was actually Randy Johnson. Uh, you've got yourself a titanium backspacer here too, as well with kind of a gear pattern on it. And of course you have to have the uh, lanyard uh, hole here too, as well. So 150 bucks for that beast. It's a total custom uh, Vox F3 by Boker with S35 VN uh, thick as hell blade. 150 bucks for you. All right, what do we got next here? All right, well, we've got a couple of things here that you might, I don't know if you want to buy them just as they are. And this, whether or not you want it or not, um, this tape is starting to come loose. I can take this off or not, leave it on there. This is a couple of EOD Robotics Breacher Bar uh, breacher bars. Oh, sorry. I keep on banging my microphone. So I ended up buying these off of, off of uh mass drop and they are monster thick pieces of 1045 steel with a Rockwell of, uh, well, 48 on the Rockwell scale. So they're a little on the soft side, but you want that because you don't want these super hard to be chipped up because they're designed to kind of go in there and you need to get into a place and, you know, crack it open I ended up sharpening these here. Uh, I sharpened this edge and I sharpened the chisel edge on both of them. Uh, and they are 
I mean, the chisel end on here is shaving sharp. This side on uh, this side here seems to be fairly sharp too as well, sticky sharp. They'll both cut really, really well, but they're not really designed to cut. I did a little bit of batoning with the big one here out camping. I just thought I would perhaps use them a lot more than I did. I kept them with me in my bag just in case I ever came across a really bad accident on the road. If I need to kind of get in there, focus you, fack. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if anybody you guys watch uh, AVE, but that's kind of stolen from him. Uh, so those, I, I would say, I don't know if you, you, you I don't know if you want to um, buy those just by themselves, but I'd say thirty-five bucks for the, the pair. I, I paid quite a bit more. I don't remember what I paid. And there was US, and they came shipped from the US. So, and this, all this tape here, this tape here is called a rot-proof tape, uh, and it's just basically kind of a if anybody's familiar with older style wire loom on some of the older uh, muscle cars, that's what this feels like. It feels like almost like a wire loom, but you can't tear it. The stuff is almost indestructible. You cannot tear it by hand. You have to cut it. It's just super, super tough. So I'd say 35 bucks for these two. If you want to include it with something else, you know, 10 bucks for like the spork. Uh, you've got this uh, little thing there, or you've got that there. All those are 10 bucks if you want to add them all together. Uh, I'm not sure if you want. There's a, I couldn't find a proper sheath firm, so I just kind of built one. Uh, and I don't know if you want it with that. I just All this is is just a simple sheath system that I kind of built. Nothing fancy. They go in there, and I just carry it with you in my bag. So if somebody wants the sheath, I can throw the sheath in. And if not, no big deal. I can throw it away. But 35 bucks for this Breacher Bar set. And somebody was telling me that they were sure that uh, EOD Robotics was not delivering in Canada anymore. So in the, in Canada here, if you don't want it, if you, if you only one place you can buy them is from me. So Breacher Bars. All right. So let's go on to some other things here. All right, we have got so these ones coming up are are totally new in box. They are no longer um they're not been used or sold. You can use a credit card to buy this one if you need to. Uh, but this one includes tax, no shipping. So this happens to be a gorgeous brand spanking new shaman with s35 or sorry s30 v steel uh this happens to be golden colorado um now they might have done something new here with this blade steel it looks like this is no longer just like a it looks like it's got the treatment the same treatment that uh, i'm trying to remember what knife it was on it just looks like it's a mere polished stone wash finish. It's just a really interesting blade. Like it's, I held it up to, to some of my other spider coves where you can see the actual grind lines of them. With this one, you can't. Um, it's got that Marsan Sleece uh, steel finish on, on the Bowie that's got that shiny uh, with the stone wash. That's what that seems to have on here. And I actually, these ones here, so this was originally uh, 336 there. I just need something here. Um, I forget. I had it written down here. I apologize, guys. So 299 for that one right now. And, I mean, that's 299 So, basically... Um, you're going to save yourself because right now these here are going anywhere from 320 to 350. I've seen them out online now. So for 299, you get yourself a brand new in the foot in the box, uh, Spyderco Shaman, and you don't have to worry about paying any taxes on that. Uh, but you've got a little bit of shipping and that's it. So 299 for that Shaman. And 336 is the list on it. Well, that's on MSRP. That's what, uh, if you go to the store, that's what you pay for that. Okay. Here we have some Demco Knives 80 
brand new in the box with the shark's there's going to be some with the shark's foot, some with the clip point, but they're all going to have the shark lock on them. And these are still in the plastic. These are brand spanking new. Um, first time flipped. Sorry about that. Let me get this out of here. My camera work sucks. Uh, this one happens to be the shark's foot OS 10. Um, now I think this is the Grivery handles, but it does have the shark lock which is a fidgeting dream. This thing is fantastic. Um, I love this. Uh, the way this is just built um, and the way that this uh, flicks out is just, man, it, it, uh, I actually want one of these myself, uh, but I happen to want the titanium version and I'm going to hold out for the titanium version because I love this shark's foot and I love this shark lock. So I've got four of them. All four of them are brand new in the box, 219 plus shipping. And they are going to be uh, tax included. And they're also going to be brand spanking new. And you can pay with these with a credit card if you want. Um, you'll just have to, uh, we can do that email. And then I will email the company with the credit card and they'll pay for it. And then I'll ship it out. And you know, Bob's your uncle. So. 219. So let's see what the other four that we have. They're all brand new in the box. I'm not going to flip the other ones. I'm just going to show you what we have there. Oh, I keep dropping that. But I really like that. Isn't that a cool shark pattern? And I apologize that it's backwards. I don't know how well the writing is backwards, but I just think that's a removable patch. So if you've got yourself like a like a backpack with some um, Velcro on it. You can remove this patch and put it on your backpack, which I think is so cool. All right, so let's, I've got four of them and let's see what they are. So the next one here is gonna be the, I just wanna, I just wanna see what they are so I can show you. I'm not gonna take everyone out. If I have a clip point, I'll take it out just to show you the blade. But if this one's another shark's foot. Uh, so this one here happens to be, instead of the orange, it is a clip point in the black with a black coated blade. Now I know the black coated blade is a little bit more expensive, but I'm still going to do them for two nineteen if you want. Um, so you save yourself even a little bit more money, and that is a good looking knife. Um, I said I wasn't going to flick it, but damn it, it's that it's just so fun to it's just so fun. And of course, you've got the uh, clip. Uh, it is. Uh, Looks like it is right hand tipped up only, but still gorgeous, gorgeous. Man, I love this. I, I Man, I think I might just talk to him and pull the trigger on this block one myself. I just, I am so damn tempted. All right, well, pop. So that's 219. Save yourself even a little bit more money there. And now we'll quickly see what this is because I didn't look because I'm a bad, bad YouTuber. This one happens to be orange grivery with a black handle or a black blade. So it's, it's orange with the black uh, DLC coated blade. So, all right. So put that back inside the plastic. And like I said, these are all brand spanking new. 219. And Robert is your mother's brother. Oh, I'm just dropping stuff. Damn it. It's not good. It's not a good time here for a second. I'm dropping stuff left and right. I didn't have a sharpening system. I cannot find the damn thing. Ugh, the next time I sell something, I will maybe include that sharpening system. Sorry about that. It's a uh, work sharp one. And this one happens to be a black with a black. I bet you it's a black shark's foot. Oh, yeah. That is gorgeous, man. That is gorgeous. Black with, oh, focus, focus. 
Focus, focus. Here we go. All right. Oh, it's so satisfying to flip these. So 219 for any one of those four, you're better off getting one of these black ones or one of the ones with a black coated blade on them at no charge. And that is going to save you some even more money. Um, yes, I have ref. I do have reviews on most of these knives you could reference after. Let's see what we got now, except for these last two. What is this one? Michael Shannon. I'm going to do the last one here. Or not the last one. This is the second last one, but I am going to. I can't really take this one out. I'm trying to hope when you can see this. So this happens to be a Boker M4 is what it's called, or a Boker M4 Sherman. Okay, so now this happens to be in the box, hasn't been used, hasn't been touched. It is special uh, Boker Damascus made in factory in, in a special, actually a special, um, a special uh, blacksmith shop that's right close to the Boker plant in Germany itself. And what they're using is they're actually using steel out of the M4 Sherman tank. Uh, from World War II. And so this thing right now is 576 American. I just looked it up the other day. This thing is huge dough. And it has a micarta handle. Um, so this particular knife, I don't have a review on because I, I'm afraid to take it out of the packaging because I think whoever buys this and pays that kind of money will, would want to have that themselves. And I'm totally okay with that. I wish I could show it off a little bit better. And I wish you could see it more with this micarta handle. And so this one happens to be 460. So you're going to save yourself $120. So it's $120 American. This is 460 Canadian. So I don't know what 520 or 576 uh, USD is in Canadian, but I'm going to say probably 900 bucks. But, oh, dude, that makes the Damascus is in Mississippi. Hmm? I, I don't understand. Maybe, maybe you're all right. I thought, that was a, I thought it was made outside the Boker plant. So maybe I am wrong on that. Does this say made in the U.S.? Maybe it says U.S. Maybe it's U.S. made. But it is made from... Uh, Sherman tank steel, and it is Damascus ladder pattern with a um, uh, with a gorgeous, gorgeous handle on this too as well. And I, that's four hundred and sixty bucks. You're going to save yourself, I don't know, five seventy six USD to Canadian. And then of course it has all the documentation that goes along with it, and it's totally sealed. It's never been out of its uh, little uh, sealed kind of package, so. Um, let's just see what that is. So if I had to do that, if I had to make it a quick, uh, so, so 576 USD to $768 Canadian. And you can get that right now for 460 bucks. All right. Now we've got one more here, which is a, even, I think bigger deal. This happens to be another Boker. Um, I'm not going to say one of a kind, but damn, it's almost close to one of a kind. Now, this one here happens to be another Damascus knife. And you, you, you can barely see the Damascus pattern. I wish my kind of camera was a little bit better, but it's called the Teardrop Damascus pattern. This one happens to be made from steel from the, I always want to call it the USS, but it's not. It's the Tirpitz. The Tirpitz was a German battleship in World War I that was the sister ship of um, the Bismarck. And when it got sunk in 1944, I think, in a fjord in Finland or in one of the Scandinavian countries. But this one happens to be the higher-end one, which is the gold-plated Damascus from the Tirpitz. Now the screws, the pivot, and the clip are all uh, gold, 24 karat gold plated, as well as your little insert here for if you want to turn this tip up or tip down. 
it has a it's not rosewood i can't remember what this this inlay is maybe it is rosewood i read it the other day and i, I apologize it totally escapes me now this one happens to be 1565 dollars american which is probably close to two thousand uh, dollars canadian let's just see here what uh, 1565 USD to Canada. Canadian is $2,087. This right now is a thousand and ninety nine bucks. If anybody wants it, what was it? Uh, dude that makes Damascus is in Mississippi. He has made all the Damascus for special knives from Boker. At least that's what the Boker upset at the shot show this year. Hey, you know what? And you very well may be right. I just kind of, I just kind of read something. Um, out there, and I just thought, well, um, I thought it was on the Boker site that it was it was actually outside of uh, the Boker factory. But hey, you're probably right. But yes, I mean, this thing is just it's gorgeous. It is absolutely smoking gorgeous, and you're basically getting this thing for half price. Um, I know the owner of um, the Spartaco store. He bought it specifically for himself, not to take hunting. And he was just gonna put it on top of the on top of his uh, mantle and just leave it there because it's a, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. And he just said, you know what? Let's just. It's been sitting in the store. And he's and for him, he he ended up getting uh, some other crazy knives. And he just thought, well, put it on your channel there and see if you can help me uh, move this. And I said, what the hell? So what do you need to get of it? And so thousand ninety nine bucks. It's half price. Fifteen seventy six US on uh, their website according to the other day. And like I said, it's never been used, never cut anything. It is still brand spanking new. Uh, that is taxes included in that. And you could also um, uh, just basically plus shipping. And it's all like any kind of shipping that you want to as well. I mean, we could put shipping with full insurance on there. We could put shipping that you just want to ship it. You could come by and pick it up. Hell, if you're in Calgary, I'll even deliver it to you. And you can also pay with this a credit card. This is one of the ones that you can actually pay with a credit card with. So I really, really hope somebody buys this because I would love to have uh, somebody I know take this knife out, flick it, and stick it in their pocket and carry it. Carry a $2,000 knife. Just gives me the, makes me smile. I hope somebody picks this up. All right, so... That seems to be, and of course, it comes with its documentation too as well. Uh, I really hope that somebody decides they want to take that home. Remember the first three knives bought? If somebody sends me an email, bigcanucker at gmail.com, uh, just tell me that you want to take it, and I will arrange the shipping and stuff like that. We'll, we'll arrange how we pay for it. And like I said, the first three guys to buy knives are going to get themselves a brand new Zippo. And like I said, there's some other $10 items here. If you want to throw those into any, and with any sale, $10 item. I kind of, you know what? Thank you guys. Uh, hopefully um, you saw some cool knives. Hopefully these things sell. I'm going to put them on um, line tomorrow, but I thought I'd give you guys all a crack at them first. And you know what? I, I, uh, I, I love chatting with you guys. Uh, you know, Logan's Life, uh, Gizmo Car. I mean, you guys, I see you guys all the time. Mr. York, first time I remember seeing your name, but I do appreciate the info for sure. Thank you so much. Wish there'd have been a million people out there, but hey, they're not. Uh, and hopefully this will stay on for a bit, and I will uh, hopefully get some of this stuff sold. Well. I appreciate you guys, you know, staying with me for a bit, despite a little bit of technical difficulties. Uh, and I hope that uh, you weren't uh, bored out of your skull. And uh, please, please stay safe out there, you guys. Uh, you, oh, look at that. You, yes, I got somebody there. Well, I want you guys to please, please stay safe. Keep the stick on the ice. The shiny side up. This is the Big Knucker. Say adios. <laughs>